guys, so I'm, in, I'm here today with another tutorial, and I'm going to be doing this look right here. Okay. And I wore this look yesterday for my birthday um, dinner. And, yeah, so I thought this was really pretty, and what I'm using today uh, is my, um, I'm just going to pick a random one, the NYX Ultra Mania Pearl things, pigments. That's not the one I'm using, I'm just picked up random. So, yeah, th that's the look I did, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the tutorial, so, huh, that's the tutorial. So that is the, pretty much the look. Okay, and if you're interested in seeing how to get this look, then continue watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. So first, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be priming my lids, and I'm going to be using this e.l.f. eyelid primer. Okay. I'm just going to apply this on both lids. You don't need a lot. Okay, and then you're just going to blend it out. And then drag a little bit underneath your lower lash line. So once you've done that, I'm going to go in with a base. Like, I know we just primed it, but this is a base. And it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to even out um, your eyelids. Because I don't know if you can see, but I have some discoloration in my eyelids because of the veins. So... This is kind of awkward. I'm like really zoomed in. So this is the um, NYX eyeshadow base. And this is in skin tone. Okay. And it looks like that. Okay. And so I'm just going to swirl my finger in it like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to tap this all over my lid and up to the brow bone. Like so. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of even it out and make sure it's all even. I'm only going to be doing one eye because I didn't do this eye yet, but I'm just going to do this one. And then I'm just going to do the other one, and I'm not going to film it. Okay, so once it's evened out, um, what you're going to do is you're going to use, I'm using the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania eyeshadow pigments. So the first one I'm going to use is... This one, and the packaging looks like this. Okay. And this one is in Nude Pearl. My camera doesn't focus, so I'm sorry about that. But. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this small shadow brush by Sonia Kashuk. It looks like this, and the packaging on these is really weird, right? So when you take off the lid, it looks like this. And it's going to be so hard to get your brush into there. But this one is like a really small, so it will fit. So I'm just going to kind of dip my brush inside there. And as you can see, a whole lot of product came out. So I don't want that much, so I'm just going to put it back in. And I'm just going to do it over, away. And I'm just going to kind of... I dragged it on the edge. So this is what I do. I use this empty Stridex container, and as you can see on the top, I use it. So I just find a place, and this is where I used yesterday, and I just tap off the excess, the excess. Okay, and as you can see right here, all the product goes into one place. So I'm just going to keep that there, and then I'm just going to take this color, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it all over my lid. It's very important that when you do this, that you pat instead of rub. Because since this is an eyeshadow pigment, um, 
the since it's very loose and it's not a pressed eyeshadow, it will fall out. And you get a lot more fallout. Okay, so I've used pretty much all the product that's on my brush, so I'm just going to go onto that Stradex container, and I'm just going to pick up some more that fell off when I tapped it. Okay. You don't want too much shimmer, because all of these pearl eyeshadows are shimmery. So you don't want to get too much on there. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so now you should have the color all over your lid. And she looks like this. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's really shimmery. And, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with another pigment by um, NYX and this is the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania pigment in Mocha Pearl okay so I'm just going to do that and then I'm just going to take it with my crease brush, which is right, right here. Okay, and when I took off the lid, some was like, I don't know if you can see, but it fell on the side. So I'm just going to pick that up with my brush. I'm just going to pick all of it that fell on the sides. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with this um, Stridex thing. Find a spot. I'm just going to tap off the excess. Okay. And now I'm going to go into the crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... So if I'm looking a little bit to this way, um, that's where my mirror is. I'm just going to dot it. And just kind of work it back and forth. And I'm just gonna go like that. I don't know if you can see that there is getting there's darkness on the outer side. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna work into the crease in windshield wiper motions. And I'm gonna go about halfway in. Okay. So now you should have something like this. Okay, and I like to go in circling motions and windshield wiper motions, and I like to just dot it into the crease. So now you should have something like this, and you can make it however um, deeper or how not, like how intense and how non intensity you want it so you can just build up the intensity easily and I want it I want it to be semi neutral I mean natural like of course this is dramatic almost because it's almost like a neutral smoky eye but it's somewhat neutral because I'm not using blacks and grays and whites get it it's like browns okay so once you do that I'm gonna go back with um, the nude pearl okay and I'm just gonna do that same thing. Put some on your brush. And then I'm just gonna go back over it where it was. Where I put it before. That's why I said you don't want it to be you want you don't want to put on too much right away because then it'll come out super super shimmery. Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of blend this all together. So I don't know if you can see. So 
So, I'm going to have something like that. Okay. And if you wanted it to be more intense, you could go in with another brown, which this is Walnut Pearl. And you could take some of this and put it more in the crease on the outer side, and it'll be more intense. I don't want that, but that is also an option. Okay, now this is the one that I'm, the one product that is not um, one of the pigments. This is the, my Lancome Quad. Okay, and it has these four colors in it. And the reason why I'm using this is because if you're going to do a shimmery eyeshadow look, okay, this is really awkward because I'm like zoomed in. So if you're going to do um, a shimmery look, then it's your best bet to go for your highlight for a matte color, not another shimmery because then you're going to look kind of like a disco ball, like shimmer, 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 shimmer. So I think it's a lot better if you go in with a matte color for your highlight. So, the matte color that I found that I think works great with this look is this color from the Lancome Quad. And it's this one right here, and this is called Positive. This um, cream kind of a color. Let me show you a little. Okay. Um, so, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush. And I don't use this for eyeshadow because I just don't like it. So I use this for my highlight, and I'm just going to go in with that color on the brush like this. Okay, and then I'm going to pat it underneath my brow. Okay. Like so. And then I'm going to take that blending brush that I used earlier. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend it into the crease color so it kind of meshes together. Like that. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. blending brush, which I don't use as a blending brush. <laughs> it looks like this. And I'm just going to go in with the positive as well. And I'm going to use this in the inner corners. <laughs> Now, I'm going to be taking an angled eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to go in from this palette, I'm going to take this brown right here, and this is called Mocha Chino, and this is matte too. If you're going to do some underneath your lower lash line, I suggest if you're using a shimmery look, go with the matte color. It's just me. So this is matte, and it's called Mocha Chino. And I'm just going to take this underneath my lower lash line. Okay. If you can tell, it looks so dark. Like, I mean, like, I did it too long. And I like doing it thick like this because then it the color comes out more. So I don't know if you can see the difference. So what I do now is I take a Q-tip and some makeup remover. And you don't have to do this if you don't want. This is just what I choose to do because I think it works better. Okay, and then I'm just going to take it underneath the lower lash line. And take off all the excess. I was hanging down too low. And see, it comes off. And now I'm stuck with only the color that was stuck in between my lashes, my lower lashes. Can you see that? And now I'm gonna go in with my mascara. And I'm just gonna go in with some browns and this is my normal combination that I'm gonna be using. But actually I'm not, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. And this is in brownish black. Okay, because it's kind of a wand, and I'm just going to I actually like this mascara. 
And I'm not going to use it on my lower lash line. Because there's only one mascara that I actually like using on my lower lash line. That doesn't make it so super dramatic. And that is my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And this is in brownish black or brown, whatever. Okay. So that's that. And my mascara, you could tone it down or however you want. So that's pretty much the look. So yeah, I'm going to do the other eye, and then yeah. Okay guys, so I did both eyes. Okay. And then I just want to move on to lips really quickly. And today I'm not going to use lipstick. I'm just going to prep my lips, moisturize them with this um, Victoria's Secret lip balm. And then I'm going to go in with this icing lip gloss. And it looks like this. But it's really nice and sheer. Okay. So... It's this really nice, sheer, shimmery lip gloss, and it's so cute. And yeah, so that's pretty much the look for today, and then you can do whatever you, you know, you want for your um, face. Um, I'm not going to wear face makeup today. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye!